What's up everybody, Aaron with Simplicy. And how many of you are so on the go that your applications are literally holding you behind? That is a case for many students, many active professionals, and even businesses that have employees that go to different offices. And this is where having a portable app can change the game. And that's what we're going into today. More than 300 plus options, and we're gonna go straight into it. And when I say straight into it, I'm not even playing. We're gonna go straight to the site. It's called portableapps.com. And right off the bat on the home page, talks a little bit about how this process is just a simple download and install, and you're good to go. This is flexible. You can use a PC just like it's yours. And with a lot of these applications, you'll realize by what it's saying, it's so true. And there's no cost. You don't need to register to this site and there's not really there's no like vulnerability security or anything you need to trip about either or legality so at the home page here we're gonna go to straight up to apps to kind of view this whole library they have and oh my lord it's insane how much you can fit in less than 30 gigabytes of data so which is literally like an eight dollar USB drive if not less uh, you can fit 400 plus applications and I'm gonna glide through this and you're gonna see very quickly how there is something for every single person that is watching this video and you're gonna find that golden nugget while watching this so as we're stepping through things like accessibility if you're in the development field and there's a specific thing you're on or even the most beautiful thing here is that on-screen keyboard. If you're really trying to debug a computer that's not working and its keyboard's acting up, there's some really good stuff here. We're moving straight, straight through the development. There's database stuff for SQL servers, Notepad++, so many handy things just ready to go. And I'm gonna talk about the install process later in this video, and you're gonna realize just how simple it is down to this whole process, no cost, no weird ads or click tunnels or whatever surveys you gotta do. The education portion of this is stacked with some pretty good applications. Even learning how to type, you know? How can you, how can you get a mobile tutor for free? Well, here's how. So going even deeper into the games, I know this is where a lot of people are like, okay, I didn't come to this video to figure out how to play solitaire on a USB drive, but if I can, I might as well. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, here's big solitaires right here. Uh, as we're going down further, you got Sudoku. Hopefully I said that right. And a bunch of other games. All these different types of like poker, solitaire, blackjack. Shoot. Go, could go all day. And I know even Minesweeper was hidden up in here. So there's, re there's really something for all you gamers on the computers or those looking for the old school games like that pinball, cl pinball classic on like Windows XP. Um, and graphics and pictures. I know you're not gonna be finding your Photoshop and like your Lightroom and all that good stuff in here, but for those of you who have ever used GIMP, it's a free image editor just like Photoshop, you realize quite quickly that it has a lot of the great tools and everything you need to get something done in a Photoshop sense without, without that big brand name and that monthly cost that comes with it. And now you can literally get it on a USB drive. So. I, I just got a lot of hype going into this video with all these different options and we're going into an even better and better category and this next one is internet and wow I always hated having to go to another computer say when I was a student I'd go from my home to school my specific building I was always in the library and I would never be synced up with my Google Chrome settings my bookmarks or anything like that or my emails popping up I'd have to re-log in and then Google would be like hold the phone and like hold a gun up to my head pretty much and be like two-factor authenticate this right now well that whole jazz was for Google Chrome portable and you can be automatically logged in. All of this on a USB drive, you plug that bad boy in, you're good to go. Same, same goes for any of your other browsers you really like. Mozilla Portable Edition, Opera's on here. There's even mail um, <coughs> applications, excuse me. And it's just a whole lot of good stuff. So you go hard on Twitter, you even have an application that's based on it. And for those bad boys out there, that torrent stuff, you got that one too. Um, so swinging through that because I want I want you to see this content But I don't want this video to be fluffed up and be a waste of your time in any way That's not what simple is about we're going to the music portion and 
I my oh my goodness, there's audacity in here. You could literally edit music, create music, or any recording for podcasts. Got OBS in here so you can stream and record your desktop from a USB drive. Goodness, VLC so you can read video files of any type. There's even CD and DVD players and oh my lord. On point in every single way. I got some like spit stuck up in the back right now. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> but yeah, so we're, we're moving through this bad boy quick. And we got a bunch of office tools here. Really the big dog on campus. Libre Office. And for that to be on a USB drive, that's a beautiful thing. Very beautiful thing. And with the security, you have your password keeper applications. Not every single one of them on there. Sorry to say for my Dashlane users, you're not going to see this. And I'm quite sure for my last pass, you're also not going to see that on here. Um, but there are a few. And in terms of other utility programs, there's a whole lot of good ones. You got 7-Zip out here, the auto runs for those window users that are trying to do something a little more on the, the developer's edge or more so just kind of like efficiency with program running, your command consoles, and it just goes for days. All types of goodness. Hardware info portable, that is top tier. Because sometimes it's hard to figure out the exact specs of a computer and what it has other than what Windows tells you in its about spot and actually figure out the temps and different factors. So it's just insane the amount of things that we got on going here. Rufus, I could stop 20 times for the amount of crazy like banger names in terms of really helpful applications that are portable on this site. So I gotta give a huge thank you to portableapps.com because they've done this for all of us. They've got it all in one place. They're hosting these files on top of that and they're making it an easy process for us just to be a little more efficient in our life. And that's what we're very focused on at Simplicy. That is our number one goal. So I'm glad that you're here with me on this video. Let's go into this next step of getting this bad boy on my handy dandy little USB drive with a nice little little utility knife on there also could be a little crazy knife too in case things start popping um, but yeah let's pick an application to get this thing moving on I'm a huge fan of notepad plus plus so let's just go for that one I'm gonna get this bad boy plugged into the computer here I got the USB here boom shakalaka and so here's that download page you have the choice to make a donation always about supporting the people that are really creating these awesome software solutions for us and making everyone's lives easier I'm gonna hit that download button and it's gonna start that up for us <clears throat> there it shows up at the bottom and so we got that notepad plus exe in there so what we're gonna do to keep this process as simple as possible is we're gonna move that download into our uh, USB file and in about 30 seconds you're gonna know exactly why we're doing that so I'm gonna for those of you who haven't seen the Windows file manager or aren't familiar with it um, pretty much just once this bad boys opened up you can see this little left side menu that's our ultimate navigator here quick access is opened up we're gonna see downloads I'm gonna move notepad I got an extra one in there I'm gonna move this notepad plus plus file over to my pimp USB drive, real pimping. I got a folder ready here for mobile applications, but for those of you that are following along, let's get this guy brand new, mobile applications. I would, I would say for all of you to do this because organization in your file system is one of the most underlooked things because as we control V this end here, um, because when you're not using your file system and everything's just rolling fine, you're like, whatever, I don't care what it looks back there. But then when the day comes where you have to go through that bad boy, it's going to be crazy. And obviously with these mobile applications, you're going to be going in this folder. So we're going to double click this application file and it's going to pull up the installer. I'm going to bring that guy over here. I'm going to make all this a little more grander for you two to see. But as you can see, we're going to click OK gonna bring us through the portable setup and this is where us bringing this install file over to our USB drive was important because now this destination folder automatically is set up for where we're at D I can confirm is my USB drive by going over to this PC seeing that letter D is assigned to that drive we're in the mobile applications folder and so on and so forth so that makes this part of the process just a click for the install hit that and now we be patient 
really quick it's gonna happen all this is gonna stay within the USB drive and as we hit finish go back to the USB drive you're gonna see the actual folder is there we could delete that if we'd like no need for that installation file no more and now we have the actual application so from here I pull out the USB drive I can plug it in wherever I want and when I double click this notepad plus plus portable here it is opening up and I keep looking over here because that's that's where the the primary screen for Windows is but yeah here's this guy I like free software same what up <laughs> but yeah so we're gonna do that I'll go ahead and just save this real quick just to show you it's working automatically it knows to go into that same spot save it exit boom there's the file so that's through the whole install process that's this amazing site portableapps.com thank you very much for your service any devs out there that are taking care of this site I appreciate you so much and I also appreciate you the viewer being a part of this video watching it and I hope your life becomes a bit more efficient from this amazing software let the people know if this video helped you out it'll be super helpful for the community we are building if you could drop a thumbs up if you have more questions about the specific topic or have something else you want us to cover drop a comment let us know and we'll be more than diligent to be uh, to be sure that your questions answered and your comments replied to because that's what we're about at simple c our sole focus is to bring you software solutions to make your life easier we live in a world where consumers they literally have like 90 plus different options for every single thing you do whether it's going to eat making a big purchase a small purchase what you're going to do on your computer when you to open it up the software you're going to use to do that exact thing and that's the problem that's happening right now in the software world with many times more than just 90 different options. So that's our goal is we're pushing to end this paradox of options for software by doing the work to test them and all of them and show which ones are best and why. So join us in our journey. So if you're interested by subscribing, please support what we're doing by liking this video. Thank you so much for spending time with us today. And I hope you have a bombastic diggity day. Peace out.